Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing uh, a rail trail ride since it's about the only thing I can be doing. Right now, this is uh, a rail trail that goes all the way to Windsor or so. We're obviously not gonna go that far, but I'm gonna try to go to Shedden and back. I'm in St. Thomas right now. So round trip, it's about 30 kilometers. Um, it'd be cool. Uh, this is an old abandoned railroad track. Some of it's kind of finished. Uh, other parts are a little more chunky, so we will check it out. We got the Cobain here, the 29s on it, front fork lowered to 130 like we did last week on the channel. So anyways guys, let's check it out. Let's see what fun we can have exploring on the rail trails. Yeah, so like I said, this, uh, this path goes a fairly long distance uh, west of St. Thomas here, but we will see Oh, getting to shed and back. It's a little windy out today, so I hope it doesn't make too much noise on the camera. This section here is kind of cool. It's actually an old railway bridge. I'll maybe insert a shot here showing uh, kind of what it looks like. But they've done it up as a sort of an elevated park. It's kind of cool. Just show you guys sort of the view we got here. So yeah, let's see we're on a Nice bridge up above everything here. So we'll keep going here. It's a nice day out. It's a little windy, like I said, a little chilly, but uh, can't complain for the beginning of April. So yeah, this first section's finished, but then it quickly, uh, they have uh, kind of a couple kilometers sort of semi-finished that's pretty easy to ride on. And then it kind of deteriorates deteriorates from there uh, and we'll see how far we can get before it gets super maybe unpassable I don't know I've just looked at Google Maps to kind of get an idea of where I can go so as you can see this area is nicely finished really easy to ride on nice it's reasonably flat I think most of the way so to be a fairly easy ride okay so the uh, nice smooth path is about to end here we've got this loose gravel uh, so I've come through here before and it's uh, it's a little squirrely it's pretty loose can't go too fast it's kind of hard to explain why this is so difficult to ride on but it's really kind of deep loose gravel and it kind of stinks to ride on I have I've gone a little bit up here but not any further so it'd be interesting to see what it's like up here as we go further so according to Google Maps I should be able to get all the way up to Shedden on here and then go over go ahead a little bit south and go up, grab another rail trail back to about this junction somewhere around here so that's the plan. Yeah, so I've never gone further than here, so I'm gonna keep going up this way. Oh, this gravel is sketchy. Okay, so this is an old road called Blind Line. There's a lot of people four wheel down off of. It's kind of cool with the old. Uh, power lines there. All right, let's keep going to see what this is like. This gravel is going to be slow going if it's like this all the way. Holy shit. I'm clipped in too, which is kind of sketchy. Huh. All right, well, let's... Uh, Try to avoid the deep gravel. It's just the deep gravel like that that's uh, kind of gets squirrely. I'm hoping this doesn't last like this all the way. Kind of getting used to it now. It's a little squirrely in a few spots. I'm gonna get deep and loose, but uh, like that. Now oh, it's getting warm up. 
This is like trying to ride through deep snow or something. I'll just show you guys like what I'm, this is kind of like what I'm dealing with here. This is all just loose, big chunky gravel like this. It just kind of makes it interesting. Not in a good way. <laughs> I kind of want to get to the end of where I wanted to go here and then cut over to that other rail line. See what it's like coming back the other way. Hopefully better than this. But hey, it's an adventure at least, right? Oh, right now, look what's going on. It's good to get out, do a little bit of exploring. I don't know if you can see that on the phone or not, but we're about 11, 12 kilometers in so far. Uh, so we're right here, I'm gonna go to here. So it's honestly probably whatever, better if we just keep going. Part of me does love the adventure of this, just getting out and going someplace I've never been before. I've just looked at it from Google Maps, never actually done it, thought about it for a couple of years. It's kind of cool actually doing it. It's not exactly what I was expecting, but that's part of the fun of uh, getting out and exploring. Okay, things have gotten better. The gravel is gone. At least this stretch of it here. All right, just taking a look here. So we're 16 kilometers in. Where are we now? Oh, we're almost at Shedden. I think this right up here is shed and then we can turn around and go back there should be another rail trail going back i think that other trail is like right there the old uh power lines i think it runs just kind of parallel and then it goes a bit further south Here. Let's see where this goes. So this should be the other rail trail. Going back, I think, I don't know. So far I'm liking this a lot better than the other one. All right, so this one should take me back Sort of that to that junction area I was at before. This is a lot more what I was expecting the other one to be like. Oh, well, we made it to Shedden, so now we're just on our way back. That was tough uh, going through all that gravel. Don't think I'll be doing that route again. What is this? It's an old mile marker. It says west on it. That's kind of cool. Ugh, so muddy. This sucks. Yeah. Like I said, an adventure. Duck. Okay. It's weird, it's so dry for the most part, and there's just a couple of big mud holes like that. All right, so we got gravel on the one side to deal with, and this, these little mud pits on the other side. Interesting. Holy shit. This is getting muddy. Is getting to be 
big mess fast here. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. This is a mess for sure. This was my initial plan. I was to continue on to the side road and then head north back to the rail trail. But since this road was basically impassable due to all the mud and a truck stuck in it, I had to take a look at my phone and I came up with another plan. I had noticed this trail off to the side on my way through and according to Google Maps, it looks like it went all the way through. So I turned around and hoped for the best. I think there's a way over this way. Things have gotten a little bit gnarly here. This is like a, I don't even know what this is. I wouldn't call this a rail trail. There should be a turn off up here. I'm hoping I can get through that way. If not, things are gonna get interesting. Yeah, so this is this. Let's see what happens if I go this way. Yikes. Holy smokes. This is uh, some interesting stuff going on here. These are some mud bogs for sure. Oh shit. It's not look good for me. Well, according to the map, the trail does go up through here. I don't know. I don't want to turn around. This isn't looking good. What the f This is super gnarly. Oh, another giant mud pit. Wow. Go this way. If I can even get through here. Oh, smokes. This was not what I was expecting. This was today it was going to be like just a nice little easy rail trail.
So that pretty much concludes my adventure. I made it back to the original rail trail I was on, and now I'm just heading back home. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you found this video entertaining. It was certainly more of an adventure than I had anticipated. If you made it this far in the video, and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so now. It's free and very much appreciated. I hope everyone is staying safe out there, and until next time, keep your feet on the pedals. Face Toogie Hauser.